Oh, we got a fight here. Let's go. We can't lose. Let's go. Get the boys amped. Look at that energy gain. That's huge. We needed that. All right, so right now it's the beer league off season. So I thought it'd be a good time to just like answer random questions that have come up on the YouTube channel over the last year of posting a bunch of GoPro hockey videos. So bear with me. In this video, I'm just gonna play some NHL. I really don't play this game that much, so please don't judge too hard. But starting out, let's see what teams we want. Play, let's play against the Panthers, the Stanley Cup champs. And since I live in Minnesota, definitely going with the Wild. There they are. Ooh, picking the jerseys. We're going with the alternates for sure. The classics. XL Energy, baby. Dang, lost the first face off. That sucks. I honestly might lose this game. Ooh. All right, first up, what are some misconceptions about Beer League? And I've got my questions written down right here, so that's why I'm looking over there. First, I would say that there's not a fight in like every freaking game. I feel like if you watch YouTube Beer League games, all the popular ones have fights in them. For the most part, everybody in the league that, where I play, everyone gets along really well. Occasionally there's, you know, people not happy with each other, but, but we're not like fighting. I don't know, I say that and then maybe in like a year or two, I'll have a video on my channel with a big fight too. I think common misconception is that people don't take it seriously. Like, it's all fun and games, but like people wanna win and it gets competitive. If you watch our championship game that I posted, I think like two or three weeks ago, like you can see that we were taking it pretty seriously. And, and that game went into overtime, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, um, the other team scored with literally like one second left. And we had two guys on the bench, so we were all just freaking exhausted. And when Clausen scored that game winning goal, like I was so pumped. So yeah, people definitely take it seriously. All right, next up, advice for somebody getting into beer league. That's a pretty good one. I think my first piece of advice would be just, just get started and just play. Look up a league near where you're at, you know, get out there to maybe like just a, a free skate or a stick time where people are playing hockey and just talk to people about beer league. Everyone that I've like ever encountered in hockey is just like, in general, friendly. Everybody just loves the sport. Everybody wants to grow the sport. Like everybody loves the game. I think, in general, it's a very open to beginners sport. Definitely not easy for beginners. Like, I think it's, it's probably one of the sports with the highest learning curve. But I think, in general, everybody's very open to beginners playing. Dang, we were just passing like champs out here. All right, next question. Most memorable moment from a recent beer league season? All right, I've definitely got an answer for this one. If you follow along on the channel, you'll see that there's a video where I kind of got into like a little tussle with a dude. I know I just said that there's no fighting in beer league and there's not, but this dude just slashed the heck out of me. I had just bought a brand new stick. I'm coming through the middle of the ice and he just like slashes the shit out of me for literally no reason. So I was kind of pissed off. I like skate over and shove him. I'm just like, what the f dude? And he's like yelling back at me and everything, whatever, game goes on, it's all good. But our team had won like four games in a row by pretty big margins. And so they decided to trade me to the other team, um, which meant that I was gonna be playing on that dude's team the next week. And I knew somebody was gonna say something, like either I was gonna say something to him or he was gonna say something to me. And yeah, like we were on the bench and, and he apologized. He's like, hey dude, sorry about that slash last week. Like that was pretty trash. And it was hilarious. And I apologized back to him. I was like, no, man, you're good. Like, I came up and hit you afterwards. Like, we're even. But I think that just kind of, like, speaks to the game, too. It gets heated in the moment, but at the end of the day, like, we're all just having a good time. Let's lay some body. So, yeah, that was probably my most memorable moment from Beer League. Oh, my gosh. How did that go in? What? All right, we're in the second period. Next question. What level do I play at? I play in the Hockey Finder League, and it's based on... Um, skill level 1 through 4.5 is kind of like what the Hockey Finder Leagues are. And I play in the 3 to 4.5 range. So it's 1 to 4.5 is the leagues, and I play in the 3 to 4.5 league. But basically 1 is like total beginners, people who haven't played hockey, are like learning to skate, learning the rules and all that kind of stuff. And it goes up in like 0.5 increments, so 2 is a little bit better than that. Um, still beginners, but kind of know how to skate. And then four is advanced intermediates, so it's players who have probably played in like high school, maybe even college, um, but maybe haven't played in a little while, and so they're they're like a little bit rusty, but they're solid at hockey in general. Let's go! Come on! 
we're balling out right now. And then 4.5, that's like elite players. And so these are players who have probably played in like junior hockey, college hockey, or even semi-pro. But yeah, like I said, my league's three to 4.5. Um, so it's kind of like upper intermediate, I would say up to elite. I don't know like what the highest ranked player in our league would be. Yeah, if somebody else knows more about that, let me know in the comments. Other leagues have like a A, B, C, double A, triple A kind of rating. And this would be, I mean, it's the highest league that is available in my area in Minnesota. And so I'm sure it would equate to like a, a higher tier men's league elsewhere. Next question though, are beginners welcome? Um, I kind of touched on that a little bit earlier. At least for our league, the answer is absolutely yes. Like I love seeing beginners out there. So where I live, there are three different leagues. There's like a, oh, there we go. There we go, Erickson Eck. So yeah, where I live, there's three different leagues. So there's like a one to 2.5 league, um, which is more for beginners. And there's like a 2.5, what is it? I have it right here. Oh yeah, then there's a two to three. So kind of like intermediate beginners. And then there's the three to 4.5, which is what we play in. But even in my league, like there's definitely players who are beginners out there and they still have a great time. It's just a little bit more competitive. Next question though, equipment tips. This is an interesting one. I did make a video um, not too long ago about all of my equipment. And so if you want to check that out, oh my gosh, the sniper, the freaking face off clapper. Wow. Yeah. But like I said, um, I have a video on my equipment. So go check that out. I can link it, but all my equipment's pretty old. I would say if you're, if you're looking for new equipment, don't go for the most expensive stuff. Like it's not going to make that big of a difference at least starting out. Definitely buy some decent skates. Don't get the lowest end skates. They're going to just like fall apart. Like I've had my skates for probably 15 years and they have held up because I got high end ones back then. But I'd say don't, don't get the cheap skates. I wonder if that's where that saying comes from cheap skate, but don't get the cheap skates. Don't be a cheap skate. I'd say get a decent um, helmet too. Helmet I think is the most important. Like if you've got an uncomfortable helmet, you're be thinking about it. And I don't like my helmet, honestly. So I'd say, I'd say spend a little bit of extra and get a, get a decent helmet if you can. Oh, we got a fight here. Let's go. I swear if I lose this, we can't lose. Let's go. Let's go. Get the boys amped. Look at that energy gain. That's huge. We needed that. We needed that bad. I'm joking. We're, we're absolutely dominating. But yeah, as far as equipment, I'd get like a middle tier stick, middle tier everything else, get some decent skates. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was ugly. Wait, we got a penalty before the puck went in? What happened here? What just happened? I have no clue. I guess they didn't score. But yeah, I like a really light stick. People like different things. Mine's pretty low flex. I got 65 flex because I like it being whippy. But yeah, check out that video, like I said, if, you, if you're curious about my gear. Next up, do I train for beer league? Absolutely not. No, I'm just kidding. I actually do ride the Peloton every once in a while. And I, and I actually skate out on like the, the outdoor rink too a good bit, but I do that because it's fun. Like I'm not, I'm not doing that for like any specific training, but I don't think people really train in general. Like people just kind of play on Tuesdays and, and call it a day. And it's not like we have any practices or anything or like off ice training. So, so the answer is no. All right, that's the end of the second. Let's see, shots on goal, 19 to eight, 13 to six with the hits. Other than the passing, we're kind of, just, oh my gosh, the face-offs though. I didn't realize I've lost like almost every single face-off, dang. All right, so next question, um, cost of play beer league. I think it's like 150 bucks a season, I want to say. There's another face-off loss, geez. I think it's like 150 bucks a season and there's a fall, winter, and spring season. I play in all three, um, but like some people don't, some people just play in one of those. And then uh, skate sharpenings. I get my skate sharpened like once every like three months probably, which is $10 every sharpening. Obviously any equipment you're gonna buy can be pretty expensive. So is there hitting in beer league? Um, this is a good question. And officially there is not like, like in the actual rules, we're not allowed to hit. We're also not allowed to take slap shots, which is kind of stupid and I totally disagree with but we're not allowed to take slap shots in our league. There isn't officially hitting allowed, but we know all of the refs. It's the same refs that ref every game. And if it's, you know, better player on better player playing the body, like they'll definitely let it slide. 
in my last video, at the end of the game, you'll see that I get slammed into the boards pretty hard and they didn't call a penalty on that, which I'm totally cool with. Like, I think that's how it should be. We're allowed to play the body, but we're not like full on open ice checking each other. Technically, no hitting allowed. I have literally lost all of these face-offs. But we're still winning. That's all that matters. All right, next question. Does beer league get competitive? So I kind of touched on this one earlier too. Dang, even when I take the face off seriously, I still lose it. Somebody let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I'm just, I don't even know how to take a face off. Oh yeah. Question was, does beer league get competitive? The answer is yes. Go watch, go watch that last championship game. Towards the end there, like you can tell people are taking it serious. Like I just said, I got bodied in the corner. People are back checking. And I mean, it's still all in good fun. Like we're not out there wrecking each other, but, but it gets, like it gets competitive for sure. And people take it seriously. And, and like I said, in that game, that championship game, we were just so tired that we were like, somebody has got to score and just put this game away. And then we won it and it just felt that much better. And there's the trophy, you get your name on the trophy, the bragging rights for the next year, you know, it's all good fun. Here we go. Freaking Greenway. Uh-oh. Let's give him a breakaway. Let's see what he does with it. Weak. There's a face-off win. Let me give it up. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, freaking Greenway. Next question, most unusual moment playing beer league. This is a good one. Two seasons ago, and I've got the... I've got a video of this game. I can link it. I forget the name of it, but I'll find it. I actually injured the goalie early on. I made a move and he kind of like pulled his groin as he was diving across the crease. So we put one of those plastic wall goalies up and it literally shut us down. Like we could not score on it. And oh my gosh, what a hit. Oh, what another hit. Damn. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go, Boldy. Let's go backhand. Nope. <coughs> one timer. Nope. Um, but yeah, we had a plastic goalie and the thing just completely shut us down. We, like we could not score on it. All right, so then last question, is there strategy in beer league? Um, yes, but also no. I feel like there is strategy in that like people who know how to play hockey kind of play their position. And if, if we're up by like three goals, we'll play more defensively. If we're down by two goals, we'll pull the goalie at the end of the game, right? So there is strategy, but we're not like drawing up plays in the locker room and having practices where we're talking strategy or anything like that. But yeah, that's all the questions I got. Hopefully I answered some questions that you might've had about beer league. I enjoy making these videos. And so let me know in the comments if, if you enjoy them as well. If you've got any more that I didn't answer, leave a comment below um, and I'll make another video like this maybe at some point. Also, if you wanna just completely roast my NHL skills, please feel free to do so. I can handle it. All right, that's it. That's a win. That's the dub. But yeah, all the usual stuff, like and subscribe for more, more GoPro hockey content. I know this isn't a GoPro video, but most of my stuff is. So consider subscribing to follow along. But yeah, see you next time.